everyone so hopefully you've got to the end of your innovate and you've managed to use all the videos to help you write your innovation of farmer's yard right so we're over to you hot right time so we always plan we box up first so miss bailey will put the boxing up sheet on today for you um it's over to you you can write about anything scary you know, it's a tale of fear, but we want you to use the same principles that we did over in the Innovate. It doesn't have to be the same story, it doesn't have to have the same characters. You can find something scary, you can go somewhere scary. Think about all the different things that could be fearsome. What we don't want is you to ignore all the description. The description is what we're after. Describe every little bit with the character, the way they're feeling, the setting, all of the senses used. You know, you know how we how we built it up slowly. Don't go straight to, into, oh, and then they were really frightened, and, and it, it's over in a minute in a flash. That's not frightening. You start somewhere, go slowly, build it up. Write about the setting description, every detail. Make the character feel uncomfortable. You know, start somewhere safe, go somewhere unsafe. You know, tales of fear can be about anything. They don't have to be about creatures or things that you find. It could be places that you are things that have happened to you, you know, you might fall down a cliff, that's a tale of fear. It doesn't have to have some sort of mythical creature in it, it could have just an ordinary day that's really gone wrong, something terrible happens to them. Uh, but you've got to try and really focus on describing, describe, describe everything, the setting, the weather, where they are, how they're feeling. But again, use show not tell, don't just tell us how that, you know, the character is describe it think about their feelings completely throughout so today is boxing up day and then wednesday will be hot right day so like we do normally for two lessons for wednesday and thursday it will be hot right okay so there's no point me doing a video on wednesday or thursday to be honest i'm just going to expect you to write your story again using your plan using those five paragraphs as best you can start the character somewhere, go somewhere, something awful happens, they find the problem, they get into a problem, maybe they get stuck somewhere. Maybe, I don't know, they meet something that is then, you know, takes them somewhere scary. I'm not, you know, it's over to you. You decide how you want your tale of fear to work. Um, but stick to the five elements. You know, you've got your opening, tell us about the character. Build up lots of detail, describe, describe problem what's happening what's the issue resolution how do they get out of it and ending is what have they learned from it so you know the routine plan it today then hot right on wednesday hot right on thursday and then hopefully by the end of the week you'll have a fantastic tale of fear to show us all and please please send it in because as i said earlier we're really struggling to see the writing some of you are really trying hard and i've you know had some gorgeous paragraphs from but some of you are not writing at all, not in the way that we do in class at all. You know, we haven't seen the amount of writing or, you know, not many of you are up where we should be at the moment. So please, can you really try to concentrate on that this week and get me your writing as fast as you possibly can? Because then we can keep, you know, keep the standards up, keep, keep going. You know, it'll help you in the long run when you come back, whenever that is. Um, you know, it'll be easier for you to get back into the writing. Okay, toodaloo then. Bye guys.